what's up guys it's been a pretty successful week I would have to say I've gotten definitely a lot of games in this week compared to others and it has been a blast we had a very successful two days of raiding and I also hit level 30 in League of Legends so I got lots to show you guys um, the boss fight here is Elegon um, which is actually the boss that I was going to show in that one video of LFR because it drops the weapons I need. Um, but um, it didn't in LFR and I end up not showing you guys that fight in LFR anyway, but here is the real deal. And um, So this is my guild in R25 man and we have been stuck on this boss for weeks. Um, like the whole guild took a big break. Um, I never really took a big, like, I guess never mind. I took a huge break from World of Warcraft as well. Um, I think I already mentioned that, but anyway, back on track. So, we all took a break, and so we're all behind in gear, but, like, on top of being behind in gear, there's several people that a lot of times just don't pull the numbers that we need. And right now, I'm just watching this vlog and watching myself for the first time, I think, or second time. And I realized I sat there with five stacks of t uh, Taste for Blood, which is like, I feel like an idiot right now for having that because that's, when I have five, like, that happens like one and like 20, like, it's, it doesn't happen very often that it goes all the way to five, but it basically makes one of my abilities attack five times stronger, so it's driving me crazy and I had to mention it. Anyway, so we've been stuck on it because our DPS isn't good enough, basically. We're on this phase right here, and this is where we always run into trouble because there's six of these little orbs that spawn, and uh, like right here, there's six of them, three on each side, and our DPS has to be split out, you know, into groups to down them. Basically, like, we have some of them with only two people on it because we have really good DPS that can hold their own and only take two, and then there's other ones with three, and sometimes even the groups of three weren't getting them down so it was super frustrating that we couldn't progress simply because we couldn't get these stupid orbs down but this week we had all our best DPS showed up everybody's ready to go everybody's pulling their best numbers and it was awesome because we end up down in this boss and I'm, it was super nice because 5.2 which is the next patch is actually coming out hopefully Tuesday um, and our guild is going to do something a little different, and I'm kind of excited for it. I like 25 man just because it's 25 people, and it's the only guild on server, only 25 man on our server that actually does 25 mans. So it's it's something you can kind of like brag about almost, you know. Not really brag because it doesn't do well, but it is the only 25 man group. So that alone is something to say for. But Obsidian Blades um, is going to probably split into two 10-man groups because the server is just so dead and we can't ever get 25 good people to show up. And so it's, it's hard to raid with 25 people. We spend the first 30 minutes trying to just fill up the uh, last 25 people, you know, and, or not the last 25, but like the last two or three people. And so we're going to split up into two 10-mans, and I'm actually going to end up off-tanking for the for um, our group, which is going to be Raid, led by um, Tewanto, which is the healer you can see there on the healing charts. I know it's a little fuzzy, unfortunately I pulled it off my stream, and WoW and 25-man raids are pretty intense, so my computer is not like the best in the world, so I can't get a perfect image. But there, she's number three on the healing charts right now. Um, and she's going to raid lead our group. And they're going to be split up pretty evenly. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm excited about 5.2. You know, everything kind of gets reset. It gives me a chance to finally have, like, the best gear and be doing the best damage. Unfortunately, I'll be off tanking, so I won't always be DPSing. But they're... There are boss fights where there aren't two tanks needed all the time, so I'll get a DPS a lot, hopefully. I haven't looked ahead to see what kind of bosses there are or what, what the requirements are, but either way, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to 
get newer item levels that's a higher so like they increase the item level by a little bit more than whatever the heroic status was so heroic item level is 509 right now I believe and like my item level right now is only 482 82 I think so it's still super low and most people's in here is as well just because we're not able to progress far enough to get gear that people need because people don't pull the numbers that they should with with the gear they got but um, so that's that I'm excited for it hopefully it comes out Tuesday it means a new PvP season I'm gonna try and get into PvP as well I know over the last couple of weeks I've been debating you know whether or not I was going to keep playing while we're not but after <laughs> after Wednesday night when we got this boss down and Lord, um, I don't know what the rest of his name is, I just know the first part is Lord. And you guys get to see that video too because we struggled on that fight just as much. And it was purely the DPS's fault. I mean, the healers kept us up to the Enrage timer or the Berserk timer. As you can see on this one too, I mean, there's the Berserk timer there up on the middle right hand side ish. And it, um, I mean, we got three minutes and about 14 seconds right now to kill the boss, and um, so and and each fight usually has that. Sometimes, towards the end of the fight, it just gets unbearable to heal. So there's kind of like a soft enrage. There's no actual enrage, but eventually your healers aren't going to be able to keep up with the damage going out. But this fight and the other fight, there's an enrage timer, and if you hit it, you just die. Like. In this one you just straight up died you took like a couple million damage and died instantly um, so that's what we always ran into I mean we our healers always kept us up and right here I got super scared that that orb wasn't gonna go down it needed one hit and it wasn't going down um, but right here is the last orbs of our last phase and everybody's supposed to kind of save cooldowns for it because it gets harder they go faster and so right now we're getting close to the end and I'm I'm realizing holy cow we might actually get this we we moved to this boss after the first one or the, the other one that we downed um, and we did two a, one or two attempts before this I think just one because um, raid time ends at 1030 for us and you can see there at the top right on the map that it actually is about 1033 and right about here is really where it clicks in my head and I'm like holy cow like this is it we're about to down this boss if nothing goes wrong and like I guess you can't see the camera I got this vlog over the top of the camera but my face pretty much just kind of stayed still like I was pretty focused and just trying to make sure I was doing everything right I screw up here in a little bit and I'll point it out but it ended up not being a big deal because he ends up telling us to forget about it anyway because we just need to do damage. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this week was awesome. I, I've gotten a lot of homework done. I'm going to try and get the rest of my homework done. Um, getting this vlog out for you guys is part of that so that I can play lots of games this weekend because I'm home this weekend. And um, I just want to play as many games as I can. Um, and this is it, like, I mean, we're getting to the punchline right here. You can see the boss has got like 160 million health, which is actually a lot. Like, most bosses have only like 200 and 250 million health, but this one's got like 800, but it's because we get a damage increase. Like, you can see me there at number 6, and I've got about 130, no, 117,000, I think, at the moment. And there's several people over 100,000. And to be honest, there shouldn't be a range that's below any melee DPS because we have to work harder on this fight running around. But either way, it's a lot of fun for me because you guys get to see me jumping around back and forth. And um, it's what I excel at. And, well, don't excel at, but I'm, I'm good at movement and I'm good at, at um, being aware because um, PvP kind of makes or forces you to um, be that way in my opinion like any pvp -er can be great at pve um, I don't know I just reset it I just wanted to leave it at the very end um, but anyway 
that was one of the bosses that we downed this week, and um, we had a blast doing it. It was it was a lot of fun. It was a big accomplishment for the raid, and um, it felt good to down this stuff right before the patch ended. Granted, there are so many bosses that we should have downed by now that we don't, but what can you do? We all took like a two month break, so that's what it is. It is what it is. So I'm gonna continue to play games, hopefully, get a bunch in. Eventually I'm gonna have to step up to the real world and start applying for some jobs, so I'll get pretty busy. Probably won't get to play as many games, but overall, the last week and a half of my life's been pretty fun. I had so much fun um, ice fishing last weekend, and I've had so much fun playing games this week. It's been so successful, and I'm excited for this weekend. A bunch of buddies are going to come and actually play Super Mario on the Wii, so like four people get to play at the same time um, on the Wii U. It's going to be a lot of fun. I wish there was a way for me to record that, but I don't have um, an Elgato like uh, Solid Stake does, so no recording the council games for you this week. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will uh, definitely see you in a couple days. Come check out the next video. Um, it's definitely going to be awesome. I'm putting a lot of effort into it. I've taken several clips of me along grinding for level 30 in LOL. So there will be a whole bunch of snippets. Um, actually a bunch of editing. Well not a bunch, but I mean I'm putting a lot of effort into it. So come back in a couple days, check out the blog, check out the video. If you guys feel like it, feel free to come watch my stream at any time. It is twitch.tv slash birdbuster. It will be in the bottom description as well. So I will catch you guys next time.